Hi, I'm Michael Rosnow. You know, I started this vlog a few weeks ago to emphasize how important it is to elect our president by popular vote. Some of you later complained to me, saying, well, that would mean California and New York would determine the winner. And I said, this is nonsense. There aren't enough voters in those states unless they're joined by like-minded citizens throughout the nation. And of course, you know, small states, which have disproportionate power in the Electoral College, when progressive states like Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania connect with them, as they did in 2016, though with less than 1% of their state's total, their candidate got into the White House, even though the other candidate got almost 3 million more votes in the nation. This is unfair. It is not American. Well, some of you then try to bait me by saying, well, I guess you think you're more astute than the Founding Fathers. Okay, I'll take the bait. Yes, I do believe I'm as astute as are many Americans as bright as the Founding Fathers, most of whom were the progeny of wealthy landowners. That's how they got to represent their states. And you know, at that time, education was limited to a few. Communication was very, very light. Scant newspapers, they didn't have the telegraph or telephone, let alone radio, TV, or internet. We are a much better informed nation today, and we don't need the Electoral College, an outmoded, archaic system. And that's why I've supported the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact, which is an amalgam of states that agree to give their electoral votes to whoever gets the national popular vote. Now, some of my colleagues on that issue don't like it when I say we've got to get rid of the Electoral College. But I think that we have to be truthful to everyone. Otherwise, our opponents will say we are being disingenuous. In fact, the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact says they, they want the national popular winner to win. So why would we need the Electoral College? Well, obviously we don't. However, I do believe, I do agree, that we should not politicize the issue. I think this is an American issue. It's not a Democratic issue. It's a Republican and Democratic issue. That's why many high-minded Republicans have joined the effort, because they realize that, hey, in 2004, John Kerry almost won the presidency with 60,000 votes different in Ohio, less than 1% of that state's total, even though George W. Bush in that election won the popular vote by 3 million votes. It's time to elect our presidents by popular vote. And I urge you to please contact your governors, your state legislators of those states that have not yet joined the compact to join the 11 states and District of Columbia, which have. That's 172 electoral votes are already in the column. Only 98 needed to reach the 270 that are uh, needed to get the presidency through the Electoral College. Let's do it. Let's get Americans choosing their president. We don't want to have a minority of Americans impacting the policies that we have to follow by getting a person that we've rejected at the polls. Please, contact these people. Let's join the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. Let's elect our president by popular vote. I'm Michael Rusnow. Thank you for watching. I'll be talking about other things in the future. I'm not going to be a broken record about just this issue, but I do think it's a good one to start off on, don't you think? Thanks so much for watching. I hope to hear from you soon.